Welcome to this week's edition of SKNIS Week in Review, where we recap major government released activities for the past week. I am your presenter, Raheem Berry. Head is for the week of August 23rd to August 29th of 2019. JNF Hospital receives two 2018 model ambulances. St. Kitts Nevis government works to improve lives of the disabled. And the Ministry of Education reshaping education in St. Kitts and Nevis. The delivery of services at the JNF Hospital received an added boost when two 2018 model ambulances were donated to the health-based institution on Friday, August 23rd by the St. Christopher and Nevis Social Security Board. Today in particular, the Social Security Board is elated to officially hand over two conversion ambulances to enhance the emergency response capabilities of the Joseph and Franz Hospital. This significant sum totaling over a half a million dollars, but in particular 568, dollars represents a little over two years worth of donations to the healthcare. Mr. Maynard said that with this donation, the organization demonstrates its continued commitment to the delivery and advancement of healthcare throughout the Federation of Sankist and Nevis, and the board understands the importance of having good health services and a healthy workforce. The Ministry of Ecclesiastic Affairs, in collaboration with the church community across St. Kitts and Nevis, will once again observe a National Day of Prayer and Fasting on Monday, September 2, 2019, to encourage personal reflection and appreciation for God's blessing. This is the second consecutive year that the commemoration will be held. Churches are encouraged to organize appropriate activities in the morning and midday to serve their congregation and members of the respective communities who wish to participate. In the evening, residents are invited to Zion Moravian Church of Victoria Road, Bastia, for the National Prayer Gathering, which begins at 7 p.m. <music> Deputy Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Sean Richards, said that the government continues to work assiduously to improve the lives of the disabled in the Federation during the Disabled People's International North America and the Caribbean 10th Regional Assembly held on August 23rd. We have been constantly seeking to improve the quality of life for disabled people out of the recognition that they are, that they are an important constituency whose dreams and aspirations mirror the hopes and expectations of their fellow citizens and residents. Improving the functional capacity of persons with disabilities here in St. Kitts and Nevis has been central to the Team Unity Administration's interactions and engagement with this very important constituency. Deputy Prime Minister Richards applauded Lance Corporal Joseph Bergen of the St. Kitts Nevis Defence Force, who was shot in the line of duty almost 15 years ago, and other members of society who are adapting to life with a disability, with grace and determination. As education continues to be at the forefront of modern progressive society, the Ministry of Education is prepared to reshape the way forward for education in St. Kitts and Nevis. This was stated by Chief Education Officer within the Ministry of Education, Darrell Lloyd, during the opening ceremony at the Ministry's annual summer workshops on Monday, August 26th. This year, we take the mantle once again to improve on our efforts to propel our citizens into a successful St. Kitts as we endeavor to review our curriculum, thus making it the envy of the region. Mr. Lloyd ended by saying that he is confident that the Ministry of Education is on the right path towards greater student achievement in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Acting Director 
of the Department of Probation and Child Protection Services, Gerald Connor, urge parents and guardians to pay more attention to their child or children's online presence to ensure that they are not being exposed to harmful content that they may lead to issues such as depression, truancy, drug abuse, antisocial behavior, and a host of other challenges during an episode of Working For You on August 28th. Parents need to remember that we, did, we live in a, in, a, in a stage where things develop quickly and children are more open-minded to technology and all of that. And that is one of the things that uh, allows them to, to maneuver around their parents mm -hmm. who are not so technol technological zone. While devices such as smartphones, smart televisions, and video game consoles have parental control functions, Mr. Connor said that it is very important for parents to develop and maintain close relationships with their child or children. And this concludes this week's edition of SKNS Week in Review. See you next week.